Okay, so here's question 86 uh, till we get to cover a few more questions over the next 10 minutes. So company sell, manufacturers sell a single product with a variable cost of 36. So we have that, and then it has a contribution to sales ratio, so we know that the ratio of C over S is equal to 0 0.25, or 25%. Company has weekly fixed costs of $18,000, and we know that at break-even contribution is equal to fixed costs. So we know we can we can think of the situation at break-even. So we know that at break-even we can find the break-even revenue because if, if contribution is equal to fixed costs, which is 18 grand, we know that 18 grand divided by sales is equal to 0 0.25. So we can find sales. So that means the sales at break-even are equal to 18,000 divided by 0 0.25, and there we have it. Um, 18,000 divided by 18. 1000 divided by 0. divided by 0. 0.25 takes us to 72000 so we now have 72000 so therefore sales at 72000 and therefore we have contribution at 18 you know leave it leaves us with a variable cost of 72 minus 18000 leaves us with 54 grand so we have a variable cost of 54,000. Now, um, so that's the variable cost of break even. So we know that if each unit is 36, um, if you like, if each unit is 36, we now have 54,000 divided by 36, and that takes us to 1,500. So we, we sort of know now what the total cost is, don't we, of the variable. And if we know the cost per unit is, is 36, we can find what the number of units are. And that takes us to the first answer of 1,500. Right, let's look at 87. So 87 here, we have this situation where we have budgeted output given to us of 30 grand. Of course, you're doing these questions before you look at the videos. They're just confirming, I imagine. So I have a fixed overhead based on this budget. So I know that my fixed costs, therefore, must be 4 times 30,000 units, which is 120,000 pounds. That's the scenario that I have in front of me. I know what my fixed costs are. So if I know what my fixed costs are, all I need to do is find my contribution so I can find what break-even is. So here I have 25 minus all my variable costs, of course, alone, which are 15, and therefore my contribution is 10, $10. So therefore, if I divide 120,000 by $10, I find out that my break-even is 12,000 units. So let's look at margin of safety. I'm saying I want to make my break-even is 12,000. You're telling me your budget is 30,000. So technically, your budget can fall by 18,000 before we have, excuse me, before we reach break-even. So technically, my margin of safety is 18,000 divided by 30,000, if you like. And so that's 18,000 divided by 30,000, which is equal to 60%. So my margin of safety is equal to 60%. So therefore, this one is wrong. So I have my contribution. My contribution is 10. My sales are 25. So 10 over 25. So 10 over divided by 25 is equal to 40%. See, I have 40%. This is also wrong. Right, so let me just give myself some space. Clear all that away. Okay. Oh, we should be able to do this faster, really. Give myself some space. Second. Yeah. So let's look at the, ne the, the next two carefully. Um, so what we now have here is it says the volume of sales needed to make a profit of. This is 45,000 units. I mean, there's many ways to do it, but I think you can, be, you can be creative about this. You know that once you get past 12,000 units, once you get past 12,000 units, um, you know that everything you're making is profit and that everything you're making is all contribution, contrib um, contributing towards profit. So what we're talking about here is that I'm making 12,000 units. So if I'm going to be making 45,000 units, that's an extra 33,000 units. So um, literally, 
um, what we're talking about here is that if I'm making one second, one second, sorry, sorry, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just had to manage a few people. So um, where was I? So I was talking really here about you could really work at it from here. You could do do it as a whole. You would still get the same answer. You could, but I think you could be creative and sort of say, listen, if I've sold 12,000 units, I'm making no profit. To get to 45,000 units, I need to sell an extra 33,000 units. I'm making purely contribution because I've covered my fixed costs. So really, you're making 330,000 profit and not 270. You could have said, I will literally do the whole thing and kind of, I mean, really, it doesn't really matter. You could have worked it out from scratch yourself and you'd still see you arrive at 330,000. Um, so the answer is this is wrong as well because it's, you're really making 330,000. This is the interesting one, isn't it? It says that if you increase your budget from 30,000 to 40,000, so if you sell an extra 10,000 units, if you budget for an extra 10,000 units, well, you're all making this a contribution. Everything post 12,000 units is pure contribution, becoming profit, and that is equal to 100,000. So this is the correct answer here. Okay, great. Question 88. Let's look at what's happening here. Um, they've given us some figures so we can actually find what the break-even is. And we want to see what the change in that break-even would have been. So let's see. Let's have a look. We see here that you have 20 minus 8, so your contribution is 12. And so your break-even is 79,104 divided by 12. And that takes us to the nice figure. I didn't think this was going to actually... I thought this was going to be like a, a number of decimals. It just looked very odd. 6,592 units. That's what we see. So good. So they now tell us we have these changes. And what are these changes? These changes tell us that you have a selling price that has moved by 8% and a variable cost that has moved by 5.2%. So what we now have, if you like, is something that looks very good. 20 times 1.08 is 21.6 and then we have 8 times 1.052 and what we now have here is 8.416 so this is our new selling price our new variable cost therefore our contribution is um, is 13.184 we still have a fixed cost of 79 104 divide that by 13.184 and again i mean I, I was thoroughly amazed by this this comes out at the nice number of 6000 very interesting so we can see that there's been a fall in the break even from 6592 down to 6000 so what does that mean? So that you have 592 falling from where we originally started. So therefore, that's a 592 divided by 6592, which means that you have a fall of, well, 8.98%, which is close enough to 9%. So your answer there is D. Okay, great stuff. So this question, they want us to find the... We have two different products, so we're really looking for, if you like, remember this idea of the weighted... Um, C over S ratio is what we're really ultimately trying to find. Because if we know what the C over S ratio is, and we know that at break-even, fixed cost equals contribution, we can find revenue at um, break-even. So ultimately, I think, I mean, there's a number of ways you can do this, but I think the easiest way is just to sort of add the whole thing up so you can see for yourself, if you like, because it's a weighted average. So let's just see what the total is. So the total really is 10, isn't it? 10 times... It's based on, when I say weighted, it's based on the number of units, plus um, 4 times 10, times 100,000, sorry, forgive me, divided by a selling price, which would have been 40 times um, 150, plus 20 times 100,000. So if I add all this up, I'm going to get, um, that's 1. 0.5 million plus 400,000 divided by 6 million, yeah, I think it's 15, 
15 um, with the 6 million over there plus 2 million here so what this ends up being is 1.9 million over 8 million this is your C over S ratio 1.9 over 8 in effect and this comes out at um, 1.9 over 8 Zero zero point two three seven five. So that's your C over S ratio. So now I know that at break even, my C over S, my C is equal to right one point four million. So therefore, one point four million over S is equal to zero point two three seven five, and I can therefore now find um, S because S must be one point four million divided by 0 0.2375. So um, we have that, and when we do that, when we multiply that by 1.4 million, we arrive at the very irregular number 5,897,737. Um, so the answer here is, yeah, I think that's 11 minutes. So we'll stop there, and we'll carry on the probably the final video, I don't know, at the next set of questions.